I'd like to show you how to use the ornamenter to create what we call a single crafter bow. We're going to go ahead and start off with five arm lengths, four to five. Everybody's different depending on how much leg you'd like to have on your bow or no leg at all, how large you'd like your bow to be. What I usually do is I start off like this and I count it out. One, two, three, four, five. So about five arm lengths. Now I take my ribbon and this is like I said a single crafter bow. We can also do the same process with two ribbons and I'll show you that another time. We take how you know that you are doing this correctly is you're going to take your ornamenter and you're going to put it right in. Just like this. So when we start our, our bow, our process, this is what you want to see. You want to be able to see the ornamenter on top when you start your bow. Now we're going to, everything with the ornamenter is, has to do with tension, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to lead with our edge. Did you see what I just did? I brought this right around. Now we are ready to start our bow. I'm going to decide with, with my first rung how big our ribbon or our bow is going to be. So this is where we start. Once again, guys, it's all with tension. I'm going to keep tension here while I slide my top edge in to the bottom. And once again, bring it around. And I'm going to do it again. I leave about a finger's width between each rung when I come around. And that will allow just enough over direction to make sure the bow is about the same size all the way from top to bottom. So once again, I have tension. I'm holding that with my thumb and I'm going to slide that in and slide it in. And before long, you'll be doing bows in less than 10 seconds like I am. So once again, I'm just going to bring it up. It's about a finger's width, tension. I'm going to slide it in and slide it in just like that. And we're going to keep going this way. Now remember guys, you can make these bows however you want, big on the top, small on the bottom, whatever suits you, whatever needs you're going for. This is your vision, your design. I'm just starting the process. So once again, we're going to go like this, tension, holding that in place, we're going to do it again. It's just that easy. Now, when we're finished with our, with our bow, our single crafter bow, we're going to go ahead and break this out like this. And this is what it should look like. This is how we hang it into the tree or wreath. Now, follow me over to the tree. I'm going to show you. Everything is about tension. Remember that. So when I'm going into the tree, I'm going from one side of the branch to the other. Remember, this works on real trees. I started on real trees. So artificial or real, whatever the case may be, you're going to do it the same way every time. You're going to go from one side to the other. Right in. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to put it right in like that and put it right in like that. Now, beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fluff our bow just like this. And there you have a magnificent bow in your tree. Ta-da!